Ruth Sebatindira, the former president of the Uganda Law Society, has been appointed as the new administrator of Uganda Telecom, replacing Bemanya Tuebaze, whose contract expired in November 2019. The High Court decision follows an application filed on December 17, 2019, by the Uganda Contribution Employees Contributory Pension Scheme, seeking orders to have Bemanya removed from office and replaced with one Nicholas Mwasame. The applicants accused Bemanya of failing to collect the outstanding money owed to UTL from different government departments. The government is the biggest creditor of UTL, with a bill of more than 207 billion shillings. The administrator was also accused of failing to find an investor to recapitalize and operate the telecom company. The reason we came to court is because our client felt that the administrator was not meeting the expectations in terms of uh, correcting and remitting the, the workers' pension claims. And that's why they came to court and requested the court to appoint another administrator whom they hope to be more efficient. In her ruling, Justice Lydia Mugambe said Nicholas Mwasame, the preferred candidate of the applicants, fell short of the required expertise to administer the objectives of UTL, and she instead considered senior counsel Ruth Sebatindira as the more competent choice who will ensure speedy administration of UTL as provided for under the Insolvency Act. Today the judge agreed and have replaced the existing administrator, Mr. Bemanya, with the the senior counsel, Ruth Sebatindra, uh, who has wide experience in insolvency practice. And so we are sure that, we are hopeful that uh, uh, she should be able to devote more time on, uh, on UTL matters for the, uh, the benefits of all the creditors. Through his lawyers, Bemanya had said he had no objections to appointing anyone competent to replace him. So the official receiver um, applied to, or rather responded or replied to the application uh, which had been filed and essentially he denied the allegations which were being presented by uh, Yuseps and uh, clearly stated that he has done the work as is expected to do. But nonetheless, he says he has no problem with the appointment of another person. In other words, he considered to the appointment. He says, I have done my work. But at the same time, I'm not opposed. If you want to appoint another person, there's no problem. You can go ahead and, and appoint. Bemanya, who is the chief executive officer of Uganda Registration Services Bureau, was appointed administrator of UTL following the exit of Ucom Limited, a Libyan firm that owns 69% shares of the company. In June 2019, State Minister for Investment, Evelyn Anite, told Parliament that Bemanya had reportedly blocked an audit of the company. She added that the government, which holds 31% shares in UTL, had lost control over the telecom company. However, the Deputy Attorney General, Mwesi Gwarukutana, disregarded the request, saying that the government did not have powers to supervise the administrator, who could only be removed by an application by the creditor.